Hey guys, welcome to Zelda Dungeon. This is Zelda News Discussions. I'm your host, Bastion. This is a brand new series where uh, we sort of talk about various topics and you post comments and I read your comments and comment on your comments. So let's get to it. This particular episode is about what sort of changes you think Nintendo might make to Majora's Mask uh, for Majora's Mask 3D the version coming out for the 3DS, and quite a few of you had quite a lot to say. Um, a lot of similar changes you had in mind, so we'll get to that. Um, first of all, the Skinny Chef says, One change I would like to see would be altering how you change time forward. If you play the song of double time, you can leap half a day forward each time. That's great, but if you're on day one and want to leap right to night three, then you have to play the song five or six times. I'd like them to set it up so you can play the song once and then choose which point you want to go to. As long as you can only move forward and never go backward, I don't see why this is an issue. That's a good point. It would be nice to be able to play some song and then uh, after you play that, it's kind of like almost like a warp song where you can choose various locations on a map to warp to. But time-wise, you would be able to, you know, choose which part of the day you want to move to on which particular day, that would be awesome. Uh, that would definitely be a welcome change. Um, Elizabeth Garcia says, I think they will at least try to make the Stone Temple, the Stone Tower Temple a little bit easier because the original was way too hard and took me two days to complete 100%. Could have been a few hours if it wasn't for school. So, yeah, I hope they do that. I mean, yeah, the Stone Tower Temple is pretty difficult, but I don't see that they're going to change it in any kind of way. I don't think they're going to make it smaller or whatever. Uh, if anything, they might give you more clues as to where you're supposed to go next, but I don't think they're going to dramatically change the layout or anything. Michael Caselli says, I feel that possibly the magic meter would change because when you would use any of the special arrows that required magic, you used way too much up instantly. So um, maybe increasing your uh, magic meter in some kind of way, doubling it or something, possible. Polite Tia says, Nintendo should change what the masks can slash should do. There are so many side quests to get all of those masks and why. Most of them have a single use and became useless. Hopefully there will be, there will be less masks or maybe non-transitional masks that have a purpose. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the masks in Majora's Mask is some of them were important, some of them transformed you, some of them gave you completely useless, silly little uh, abilities. Some of them did basically absolutely nothing and just acted as keys to get into, you know, the next area. You know, you show yourself wearing this mask and that will allow you to do this thing and, and so on. I, I don't think Nintendo's going to change that aspect. Limitless Link says, Hey Bastion, I really like your videos. Well, thanks. Uh, I wonder if they might change the save system and give us restore points. Also, another change Maybe some spot passive battles and bosses and mini games, which would be great, and some new masks only available through Wi Fi battles. Now, that brings up an interesting thing. I mean, they're obviously wanting to develop this specifically for the 3DS, and the 3DS has Street Pass and Spot Pass. So, um, so what kind of things could they do to make that useful with? Uh, Majora's Mask, and that's an interesting idea, kind of like with The Link Between Worlds, with those various uh, Street Pass battles. Maybe there could be special masks that you can only acquire after having done some kind of Street Pass battle or something. That would be interesting for sure. Mewtwo 150 clone says, I think they could do something about the bow minigames. They were the only thing I never completed. I'm left-handed, so moving was easier for me than shooting. Um, I mean, what I think is definitely going to happen is that the way we control the bow will be just like with Ocarina of Time 3D, where we're using the gyro uh, sensors and aiming with the actual 3DS, uh, which was much better and much easier for me personally than using the traditional controller method. Um, so that's definitely going to be the case, and I think that will alleviate... There was a steep ramp up in difficulty for Majora's Masks, uh, bow games, and I think that 
just simply changing the fact that you'll be able to use the gyro sensors to aim and whatnot will help that out a little bit. Then we got tons of comments uh, all about saving, and uh, so I'm just going to zip through these as fast as possible and, and address that. Um, Buck Reviewer says, they must, must, must fix the saving. Kayla Cannon says, I hope they change the Owl Statue saves and that they have uh, three save slots instead of two. With the Owl Statues, I hope that they become hard saves instead of soft saves, and I want them to put Hero Mode in the game. And Gaming Media says, I think the saving will be changed a bit. I think it will be so that you can save from a menu at any time, but also keep the owl statues so you can work around on the map. Um, that would be awesome. It would be great if, uh, if at the owl statues you could actually do hard saves, but even more than that, it would be great if just from a menu you could do hard saves. Um, and then, yeah, you could use the owl statues to warp around to various places, that'd be great. Stargazer says, I guess they could include some internet slash multiplayer connectivity. Maybe you'll be able to race the Goron race against other people. Uh, well, probably not. <laughs> Zelda hasn't been much of a multiplayer game for a long time. I do wish they could make another Four Swords adventure for 3DS slash Wii U, though. Four Swords for Wii U would be amazing. Um, but as far as, I mean, that's a great idea, I think, is the Goron race, maybe not the Goron race, the version that's actually in the game, but, like, a multiplayer, maybe that's what the spot pass could be, is instead of, like, a battle situation, um, it's like the Goron racing game, and you're racing against actual other people in real time, that would be great. Polite Tia, again, says, how about a battle with the possessed Ghost of Groose? As a mini-boss in the Gerudo Pirate Fortress, the Gerudos are obviously Groose's descendants, and Majora's Mask is a game about death, it sort of makes sense. Uh, well, but I mean, Majora's Mask takes place in an alternate dimension wherein Goose didn't exist, so, um, on alternate world, uh, I don't know what terminology they use. Uh, Triforce of Wisdom says, I think they're just going to explain control. As in the original, they left out a lot of stuff like using your shield or Z-targeting enemies. Also, I think they will explain stuff like small keys, how to get a piece of heart, and stuff to, to make the game easier for people who have never experienced Zelda before. Uh, yeah, in Majora's Mask, they assumed that you'd already played Ocarina of Time, so they didn't say, this is a small key, it will unlock small doors, and all that kind of stuff. So they'll probably plop that back in, and all of those other kinds of little obvious to us, but not obvious to new player uh, kind of instructions. Aaron K says, I think they will add a master quest similar to Ocarina of Time 3D. It makes sense to add the same amount of content in both games, and it would be a fun remix of the original game. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one, unfortunately, because the only reason why the master quest was in Ocarina of Time 3D is because it had already existed for over a decade. Uh, you could buy a disc, a GameCube disc that had Ocarina of Time and then the Master Quest on it all the way back during the GameCube era, and uh, so that they only really probably included it because it was already designed. I can't imagine that they're going to spend a whole bunch of time designing a Master Quest for Majora's Mask, but it would be great. I would love to play a Master Quest version of Majora's Mask, that's for sure. Skellis Nave says, I think a change they will make is something similar to Ocarina of Time with the statues that give hints. So yeah, the Gossip Stone, or Sheikah Stones are the ones that give the hints, uh, the, the video hints. I can totally see them plopping those into Majora's Mask for sure. Yeah, C 1933 says, maybe they will change up the Water Temple in Majora's Mask 3D with hints like they did for the Temple on Ocarina 3D with the color coding helping to guide you. The first time I played the Water Temple in Majora's Mask, I had a headache afterwards. Didn't we all? So yeah, I can imagine that maybe not just the Water Temple, but various other dungeons, they might they might uh, try to give you some hints and clues as to how to navigate through those tricky ones. So that's it for this episode. Next episode, the discussion topic is going to be which is your favorite side story in Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask is renowned for its plethora of side stories and they're all very interesting. Which one is the one that you most will most enjoy revisiting in Majora's Mask 3D? Let me know down in the comments and I'll read those in the next video. If you want to check out my own channel on YouTube where I might just talk about random Nintendo things, you can click over there and view that if you want. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.